Our scripture lesson this morning from the Old Testament comes from the book of Genesis, a reading in the 12th chapter, the first eight verses. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred and your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you and make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and the ones who curse you I will curse. And in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went, as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Abram took his wife, Sarai, and his brother's son, Lot, and all the possessions that they had gathered, and the persons whom they had acquired in Haran. And they set forth to go to the land of Cana. When they had come to the land of Cana, Abram passed through the land to the place of Sachem, to the oak of Moab. At that time the Canaanites were in the land. Then the Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built there an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he moved on to the hill country, on the east of Bethel, and pitched his tent, with Bethel on the west and I on the east. And there he built an altar to the Lord, and invoked the name of the Lord. And Abram journeyed on by the stages toward the Negev. Our New Testament reading for today comes from the Gospel according to Mark, reading the in the seventh chapter, verses 1 through 8 and 14 through 19. Listen for the word of God. Now when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around him, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat, unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders. And they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it. And there are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of cups and pots and bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why do your disciples not live according to the traditions of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? He said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites. As it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrine. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human traditions. Then he called the crowd together again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand there is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, but the things that come out are what defile. When he had left the crowd and entered the house, his disciples asked him about the parable. He said to them, Then do you also fail to understand? Do you not see what ever goes into a person from the outside cannot defile, since it enters not from the heart, but from the stomach, and goes out into the sewer. Thus he declared, all food clean. Here ends the reading. May God add his blessing to this reading and to our understanding of this, his holy word. Amen.